Hey there, Becca here from Inside the Square. At the time of recording this video, my blog is currently on Squarespace version 7.1, and as much as I adore Squarespace, there is one specific feature not currently available in that version. That's the ability to click a button on an individual blog post to share that blog post on social media. I would love to have this feature available, so I'm actually going to sharethis.com to grab the free tool that they have and install it on my website so when someone is on a specific blog post, all they have to do to share that with their social media friends or followers is to click one simple button and they'll be able to post it. Now a link to sharethis.com is listed in the description below, but let's go ahead and hop into my browser here because I would love to show you how to install it in Squarespace step by super simple step. Let's get started. Alrighty, here we are at sharethis.com. I'm gonna go ahead and select start with share buttons right here. And the next option that we're going to have is to choose inline or sticky. Let's go ahead and go back really quick. The sticky share buttons look like this on the side of the screen here. I'm gonna go ahead and select start share buttons. I want them to actually be in line. So I'm gonna start with this one. Obviously I've got a lot of different options, but this is the one I'm gonna go with. Now scrolling down here, we'll see a preview. This is what they're going to look like on my site. You can customize them by clicking that option here and selecting which social networks you want. I'm not a Snapchat person, email's great, text is fine, share link is good. What else do we wanna do on here? Uh, let's go ahead and go with Messenger and Pinterest is a great one, pop that in there. Anything else? I think that'll do it for now. Ooh, let's add LinkedIn, that's a good one too. All right, great. So I've got Facebook, Twitter, email, share through text messages, standard share button, Messenger, Pinterest, and LinkedIn. You can drag them to reorder them. Like let's say I actually want Pinterest much higher up here and let's put Messenger next to Facebook. There we go. All kinds of fun options there. Feel free to drag to reorder them. Next we have alignment, pretty self-explanatory. I'm gonna leave it center because I wanna make sure this is well optimized for mobile. After that, you can change the size, the labels that are on there, the color. If you select white, let's scroll back up here, you'll see those just become simpler buttons. If we have social, they're going to change to adapt to the color for that particular social media platform. I'll go ahead and leave them at white. That looks a little more minimal and I like the look. Now scrolling down here, you can also turn on the count, round the corners, add spacing and change the language, all kinds of fun settings. Select next whenever you're done. And from there, you need to create your account. I'm gonna go ahead and work with support at, at insidethesquare.co and I'll make my password. After that, you can select the monthly page views, totally optional if you don't know your analytics. And you can also choose to subscribe to their newsletter if you want to, pretty standard stuff. I'll go ahead and select sign up. From there, we have this, which is the header code. I'm gonna copy this to my clipboard and we need to paste this in the website header. Let's do this inside Squarespace. I'm gonna hop into my website here and I'm gonna navigate down to settings. Now I've outlined these steps below, but just follow along with me here. After you've selected settings, select advanced down here towards the bottom. The third option in the advanced menu is code injection. Now I already have some code inside the header of my site. I've got an affiliate program, my Facebook code, my Google Analytics code, all kinds of fun stuff. Flowdesk, MailChimp, material icons. Let's add a new one. I wanna make sure I label this for myself. So I'm gonna follow the same labeling strategy I used for the others. I'm gonna call this share this. And then I'm gonna paste the code right there. I'll go ahead and select save. Squarespace will reload my site. And now this code has been installed in the header of my website. Let's hop back to sharethis.com. Scroll down here. This next code is, is the code we'll use to actually paste this on an individual blog post. I'll go ahead and copy this code right here hop back into my website and let's paste this on a blog post. Going back to my main pages menu, I'm going to hop into my tiny tutorials here and let's just start with this first post, ironically enough, how to add social icons to the main menu of your Squarespace website. Let's go ahead and hop into edit mode and I'll scroll down here. I'd like to put the social share icons at the bottom of my blog post. So I'll click right here and say, code, grab a code block. And here I'm just going to paste what I've copied to my clipboard. It says share this inline share buttons. Cool. All right, let's go ahead and select save and check it out. I now have social media share icons on that individual blog post. Pretty cool, right? Now back here at sharethis.com, I'll go ahead and say continue to dashboard. And here we need to make sure that we've added the domain. So I'm going to go ahead and type 
inside the square.co and select add new domain. Our first property has been created for inside the square.co and then the last thing I'm going to want to do is select activate code. Clicking activate will register that it's been installed and it says activation successful. We're ready to go. Now let's go ahead and head back to that blog post just to make sure this worked. I've opened it up here on this tab. I'm going to scroll down and I'm going to click tweet and then I'll go ahead and drag this to the center of my page so we can see. Everything's going to load. It might take a second to think about it because my internet's a little slow today. There we go. I have the title of the blog post. I have the link to it. And then it even updated my social share URL and has the whole description there so I can easily tweet. It worked. My sharethis.com plugin is installed. Alrighty, that's it for this super simple tutorial on how to install sharethis.com's social media buttons on your Squarespace website. Thank you so much for watching. And if you want to learn more about all the cool things you can do with Squarespace, be sure to subscribe to my channel on YouTube because I post a brand new tutorial every single Tuesday. Thanks again for watching, and most importantly, have fun with your Squarespace website. Bye for now.